June 16th and June 17th, 2014, are days that will remain heavy in the minds of many Northeast Nebraska residents. On those days, a series of tornadoes tore a path of devastation across five counties and took two lives. Now, a year later, some residents that were affected by the storms look back at that day and how it shaped the year that followed. Jeff Dinklage, whose family has owned and operated Herman Dinklage Cattle Feed Company for almost a century, lost 1,400 head of cattle and a variety of equipment when the June 16th tornadoes rolled through Wisner. There's only one way he can describe the scene at his operation after the storm rolled through. It was the best way to describe the way it looked. It was like you dropped a bomb on the place. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's really no other way to describe it. Um, it was, and there were cattle running all over, and, uh, you know, I mean, it was, I would say our employees were despondent, you know, I mean, their place of work was gone, you know. We were so. 25 head unaccounted for. Yeah. And there was some talk that some of them were found in the river by West Point. Now at 60 years old, and as the fourth generation at the helm, Dinklage is starting over. Because we lost two facilities, we want to rebuild one so I don't have duplication of uh, infrastructure. So one of the challenges I've had is uh, working through zoning and working with my neighbors to rebuild one facility. Dinklage said everyone is handling the emotions brought about in the wake of the storms in their own way. Everybody deals with it differently. You know, some folks, uh, I think some people took it pretty hard, some people dealt with it early, some people are dealing with it over time, you know, it's just, uh, you know, everybody has to grieve with their losses, you know, in their own way. Yeah. You know, some people have asked, you know, how can you prepare for a natural disaster? I don't think you can really prepare for one, you know, it's just almost too much, you know. Uh. While preparing for devastation, like the one caused by last year's tornadoes may not be possible, the Aaron and Terry Bierman family now have a couple of helpful pieces of advice for the future. Socks and shoes. Keep, keep some shoes. Know where a pair of shoes are. That's it. <laughs> we had to search. We had to search everywhere just to find something to put on the feet. My office was in the basement, which would be a good advice to to make your mo most valuable records in the safest part of the house. The Beerman's home, nine miles north of Wisner in Wayne County, was destroyed by last summer's tornadoes. The family survived by huddling in the corner of the basement bathroom. I felt, I heard a couple of clanks and clatters, and then it was just boom! And it was Chaos! Gone. Yeah, it just, everything just, it couldn't have taken 10 seconds, and it was just gone. And the next thing you know, it was just boom! We looked up and we saw sky. A few drops of water coming on us. And that was it. That was it. I mean, it just happened so damn fast. Was... For Robert and Millie Thompson, Last summer's storms led to the destruction of their home as well. It was the place in which they'd built their lives. The Daily News caught up with the Thompsons shortly after last year's storms, and it was then that Millie said she and Robert intended to spend the rest of their days in their rural Wayne home. Uh, I, my parents were poor, and we didn't have running water or anything. And I came, and I had one little suitcase, and I said I set it in the kit down in the kitchen, and I thought I was in heaven because we had running water and electric. Never left because of that. Here, here, God did this. Yeah. I think God knew it was time for you to move into town, Mom. That could be. Yep. We actually wanted to stay out here forever until we died. Yeah. Oh. That was the plan. A year later, the Thompsons live in Wayne, on the edge of town with a cornfield butting up to their property. While the couple are happy in their new home, there are things that just don't compare to the one they lost. This time of year has uh, been the worst for me because I had so many flowers out there. And yeah, no, I can't have flowers. <laughs> and memories of the tornado remain fresh in their minds. What was the thing that you were happiest to find? 
Oh, Tom, Tommy Tom? Oh, Tommy Tom, yeah, definitely. <laughs> he, sat on my, he sat on my lap all through that, and I, the suction, he almost got him away from me. I had my hand around that collar of his, and I just could hardly hold it. The Thompsons are thankful for the individuals and organizations that helped them in the aftermath of the tornado. But they credit one thing above all for giving them the strength to endure such a trial. Family. And the fact that I and him love each other so much. Reporting with the staff at Norfolk Daily News, I'm Katherine Harris.